Hey Vinyl Community, it's Chris. I'm here at the request of uh, Headley, another fat bearded man talking about records to do the Americana vinyl tag. Um, I couldn't quite uh, achieve that goal totally. There's gonna be a couple of CDs thrown in and some of the questions are just kind of uh, hard to answer. But I've heard other people say that they had trouble with different things too. So, to get started with, uh, uh, favorite Americana artist, whatever Americana is, for my definition, I'm just saying anything, uh, I think all, most of these are at least American artists, so maybe that makes them Americana. So, I'm going to start off and say Doug Somm is my favorite Americana artist. So this is the West Side Sound Rolls Around. Oh, Rolls Again. With uh, Augie Myers from uh, his days in the Sir Douglas Quintet. On that label there. And in the background, I'm playing this CD. Uh, Songs of Psalm by the Bottle Rockets. So it's sort of a tribute album, or at least they're doing all Doug Psalm compositions. Little booklet. Doug himself. All right, next, uh, show an album with a banjo. So, Alice Gerard and Mike Seeger. Self-titled album. On uh, Green Haze label. Nineteen eighty. All right, a harmony album. That's the right wording. Great harmony LT. The Whitstein Brothers, in the uh, tradition of uh, brother duets, like Leuven's and the Bullocks, aka the Blue Sky Boys. Rose of My Heart on uh, Rounder Records. 1984. They did another one which was more of a tribute to the Lubins uh, based on the title, but they had like three or four albums. And then either one retired or died and the other brother made some other duet albums. Which I don't own, but I listened to one of them recently. Uh, Favorite LP by Favorite Female. That was another one that I struggled with. So I just picked uh, this one here, Trio, with Dolly and Emmy Lou and Linda. So one of those three must be my favorite based on uh, the albums I have. And this is a good uh, throwback type album with them on it for me classic stuff. Uh, favorite, let's see, favorite acoustic cover song. Uh, I'm just going to say Poncho and Lefty, uh, either by Willie Nelson or by uh, Emmy Lou Harris or Towns Van Zandt. Such a good song that anybody can make a good cover of that. Poncho and Lefty. And then, uh, 
wish that uh, they somebody would put out an album in 2024. I don't really have any preference. You know, the, the stronger preferences I have are for artists that are deceased, so that's going to be more difficult unless they just come up with some archival material. So anybody that wants to is welcome. Uh, favorite album from 2023 in the Americana genre. Well, I think this was the only one that I got in 2023. Day of the Doug by Sunvolt. So another Doug Psalm based album. They're paying tribute to Doug Psalm. So similar to Bottle Rockets. Songs of Psalm and Day of the Doug. Okay, now um, favorite acoustic Beatle tune. Okay, that's going to require putting a record on. So, I will start with uh, Beetle Country, the Charles River Valley Boys. Oh, wow. And on, uh, this is on Electra. See if you recognize this one. All right, now that was uh, one version. Now I'm going to play a second version of that track. This will be the George Martin and his orchestra. This uh, white label promo on United Artists. See if I can figure out which track it is. It goes under a different name. Um, Somebody's theme. Everybody likes to do it to a Western style. Highlighted or de defaced, depending on how you want to look at it. All right. So we've got acoustic Beatles song. Now a sad or heartbreaking ballad or song there for whatever. I'm gonna put this on. Roy Bailey and Leon Russelson. Love, Loneliness, and Laundry. And the song is Invisible Married Breakfast Blues.
This is it. Don't get married, girls. You'll sign away your life. You may stop top as a woman, but you'll end up as bitches. Be single in spring. And the gay. Also Martin Carthy on here. And he sips his tea without looking at me. He sips his tea without looking at me. Heartbreaking to be in the relationship and not really be in a relationship, you know. All right, uh, song about drinking will be coming up. So it's going to be Lee Hazelwood and Nancy Sinatra. up is an illustrated album album cover, Mount Airy. I think this was a, uh, the base of the semi-fictional town uh, Mayberry from the Andy Griffith show. There might be a piece of this cover missing. Thimble Records. Right. Uh, acoustic album by a uh, non-acoustic band. Okay, that's where I have to resort to CDs. So, 
Ryan Adams, 2011, uh, Ashes and Fire. Supposedly an acoustic album that he put out. Normally, his electric instruments. Uh, first became aware of him through uh, Whiskey Town. Americana Super Group. More CDs. So, my super group is the Texas Tornadoes. Doug Psalm, Freddie Fender, uh, Rocco Jimenez, Augie Myers. This is uh, one from the trunk, I mean one from the limo, volume one. Texas Tornadoes. Now, back to LPs. Someone I never got to see live, uh, that would be Gene Clark. There's a posthumous album from him of some early stuff. Somebody that I would uh, like to see. That would be uh, Chris Hillman. Preferably with Herb Peterson playing with him, but uh, this is a Desert Rose Band. Uh, well, I mean, this is the Desert Rose album. Then he went on to form a band by that name that was a little more country than this. So, Chris Hillman. One time a member of the Birds. And Flying Burrito Brothers. Um... Americana artist that I've seen the most. Well, I think that it's a multiple way tie for with one apiece. So I'm picking Jonathan Richmond. And this is one of his most recent albums. Uh, Want to visit my inner house? Question mark. Too many guys, too many places. Strange days and point of abrasion. The uh, Blue Arrow label. Jonathan Richmond. There's a whole bunch of things I wanted to see. Okay, uh, favorite duet. I'm going to pick uh, Gene Clark and Carla Olson. So rebellious a lover. Some song on here is good. With its wine. Gypsy Rider, Delgato, Deportee. Gene Clark and Carla Olsen. Okay, um, five lesser known artists. So I just pulled a few here. Um, Blue Mountain, very Americana in there with the uh, Jayhawks and Sunvolt, Uncle Tupelo. Most of their stuff was on CD and they finally put this out on final. Frazier and Debolt. They had, had two albums in the early 70s. Have Falco Panther Burns. Sometimes a little leans a little towards Rockabilly. Uh, Alex Chilton played with him some from Big Star. He was on a couple of the albums. Uh, bluegrass band High Country. And another one. The blades of grass are not for smoking, so sort of a little mini theme there. High country and do not smoke the grass. And 
first uh, Americana album that I got. I'm claiming that it's a Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Uncle Charlie and his dog Teddy on, uh, should be on United Artists. Oh, even earlier, Liberty. Shelly's Blues, starting it out, and Mike Nesmith's tune. And to finish this final tag up, uh, a challenge or a tag, you're it, somebody to uh, do one of these. I don't like all that pressure, even though Headley uh, pointed at me. I'm going to point it at people that have already done one so they don't have to worry. So either Headley or Brian at Shamrock and Records or Elliot at Lazy Dog Records. So they've already done it, so no pressure there. So thanks everybody for uh, putting up with this uh, vinyl tag and the poor lighting. I moved the lamp over and it's uh, it really messed things up. So sorry about that. But, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.